I'm going to continue now from the last time I was down here and that's to fabricate all these small pieces for this front skin and the early pillar portion. This is what it's looking like from the uh, underneath view. And I've actually got to make some sections to let in up underneath this portion here. Using the transparent plastic sheet trick again to mark out a template for what I need to cut out of metal for underneath the bus there. So now I'll get cutting. just sizing it up. That's piece number five cut out of there now, so I'm just going to transfer that over to some new steel, cut a new piece out, see if it fits. What I've done also is just um, squirted as much rust converter as I could up into the nooks and crannies up there, just so it has a chance of uh, surviving a little bit longer. Just a bit better than before, I reckon. It's just that outer skin to uh, weld up now. So that A pillar section that I've just done has literally cost me next to nothing to make, apart from my time and effort. I've got a box of scrap metal down here, just off cuts. Uh, this one being the front firewall section of the beetle that I didn't require. So that's what I made a majority of the A-pillar out of. Now I looked online and a lot of the vendors online wanted just over 50 quid for that four inch section of A-pillar. So it was well worthwhile and gaining the experience to um, manufacture it myself. And I'm just trying to keep myself ahead of the game in relation to what jobs are coming up next for the bug and the bus. And uh, I'm just retiring my homemade brake now. That was only allowing me to bend up to one mil still. And luckily enough, a long time ago now, Father Christmas was kind enough to drop down the chimney. A new brake that's going to be able to bend up to two mil still, if not a little bit more. Um, that's because, I don't know if you saw in a few of the clips when I was doing the A-pillar there's going to be a lot of work done to that chassis rail there both front chassis rails <laughs> 